The Advanced Television Research Program, headed by Professor William Schreiber, is funded by 10 U.S. television broadcasters and equipment suppliers. As a television research center, ATRP is uniquely designed to serve as a national laboratory for the study of television technology. Some of ATRP's activities include research relating to improvements in existing TV systems, as well as the creation of new systems. The goal of the research is to determine how improvements can be made in received picture quality without undue use of scarce broadcast spectrum. Possible improvements include increased definition, reductions in noise and flicker, and better motion rendition. Researcher Mike Isnardi. Two promising ways of enhancing standard television are through line interpolation and frame interpolation. By averaging two adjacent lines, we can create new lines, thereby doubling the number of lines displayed. Here are four examples of the same image reconstructed with a different number of scanning lines. The picture in the upper left represents the picture quality of today's system. Notice that the scanning lines are quite visible. If we apply the line interpolation as just described, the result is the picture on the upper right, which has twice the number of displayed lines and a much improved picture quality. We can also apply the same technique to images that start out with a higher number of lines per frame. For instance, the image on the bottom left represents the picture quality of the proposed Japanese high-definition television system. By applying line interpolation, we can enhance the definition even further, resulting in the image here. Also, by comparing the enhanced television image to the high-definition television image, we can see that the image quality is quite similar. However, the high-definition television image would require at least four times the bandwidth than that used in the present system. Here's another example of enhancing picture quality. A technique known as motion interpolation can be used to insert new frames in between the original ones. The technique tracks moving objects within a frame and uses this information to create intermediate frames. For example, the image sequence on the left consists of only two single frames. The image sequence on the right contains three additional frames. The extra frames have been generated by motion interpolation. Notice how smooth appears the motion of the ball. This same technique can be applied to smooth out the motion in any image sequence, as this early test demonstrates. On your left is the original sequence. On the right is a sequence with two additional frames generated by motion interpolation. The original image sequence. The sequence with motion interpolation.